My dear students, welcome to week four that extends from 17th of March till the 21st of March for the English language and literature. Let's start with the first day. Um, in this week, we're going to start this week with um, defining the term literary devices. You're going to define and identify different stylistic elements such as figurative language, tone, voice, syntax, diction, and sentence structure. And you're going to determine the impact of various literary devices on the audience. Our word wall is going to include onomatopoeia, rhetorical question, alliteration, assonance, consonants, flashbacks, foreshadowing, metaphor, simile, personification, hyperbole, imagery, symbolism, and irony. You're going to have a PowerPoint presentation and you're going to watch a video about literary devices. After that, you're going to click on the image and identify literary devices on an interactive activity. After watching that, you're going to watch another video, uh, which is a song by Beyonce, which is called I Was Here. And this was uh, sung on the United Nations World Humanitarian Day. After that, you're going to click the image to review the lyrics. You're going to identify the literary devices used, and you're going to discuss its impact uh, and what the impact it creates on the audience. You will have a further practice, and for the self-assessment, you will have a link to follow. So the that you're going to assess your knowledge. For the challenging question, you're going to have a link that's going to take you to a site where you're going to answer the challenging question. And for what to do next, you're going to search for what the acronym that D stands for. As for lesson two, you're going to create a text type that implements the use of diverse literary devices that enrich your writing. Uh, you're going to have um, the word wall is going to include literary devices and you will have a PowerPoint presentation related to this lesson. You're going to watch a video of uh, I Have a Dream speech by Martin Luther King. And after that, you're going to uh, have an interactive activity, Think, Pair, Share, where you're going to write literary devices used in the speech. You're going to write evidence and you're going to write the impact of these literary devices on the audience. You will have a soft copy of the I Have a Dream text. OK, where you're going to search for the literary devices given to you. Now, let's continue with that. Um, after that, you are going to, um, to, to watch a video, to listen to Maya Angelou's poem, Still I Rise. After that, you're going to use your knowledge and understanding of diverse text types and the power of stylistic choices to generate either a speech, poem, or a song on one of the following prompts. Raise awareness about inequality, persuade people to take humanitarian actions, or inform about the importance of social sustainability. You will have further practice, a self-assessment, a challenging question, and after that, you're going to brainstorm your, your, to brainstorm your areas of strength, weakness, and opportunities for growth and development. Now, in lesson three, you're going to explain the structure of a speech. Our word wall is going to include speech, informative, persuasive, language, register, style, tone, mood, material devices, and diction. You will have a PowerPoint presentation. You're going to Watch a video, you're going to listen actively and take effective notes of how to structure a speech. You'll have an interactive activity related to that. You'll have another video of how to write a speech uh, um, emphasizes, uh, emphasizing on the structure of the speech. And you'll have another interactive activity related on writing uh, speeches. A further practice in order to, uh, to dig more into the structure of speech uh, a self-assessment, um, a, a challenging question, and for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to uh, to watch the tutorial again and before coming to lesson four. On lesson four, you're going to have a guided writing, again the structure of a speech. You will have vocabulary words for ecological 
speech, biosphere, ecosystem, biodiversity, sustainability, habitat, conservation, pollution, climate change, extinction. You'll have a PowerPoint presentation. You will have a video about uh, writing an informative speech. Uh, you're going to reorganize the speech in the correct order uh, to make sure that you understand how to write the beginning, the middle, and the end of your speech. Another video, and after that, you're going to uh, fill out the organizer as an outline of your speech, a further practice, a self-assessment, you'll have another challenging question. And in your opinion, can a speech manipulate people into believing something that is not true? You need to answer that. Now we're gonna go to lesson five, which is called the force. You're going to discuss persuasive techniques in speaking and writing, uh, which is the force. The word wall is going to include direct speech, anecdote, fact, opinion, uh, repetition, rhetorical question, expert opinion, emotive language, statistics, triples, and imperatives. Uh, you're going to watch a video about persuasive techniques. And for the interactive activity, you're going to define the term persuasion in five minutes through think, pair, share activity. Going to watch another video about recognizing persuasive language. And for the interactive activity, you're going to assess your knowledge in groups, you're going to create a persuasive poster to encourage um, your audience to purchase one of the following, a bicycle, a customized handbag, a chocolate bag, or an eco-friendly water bottle. Further practice, a self-assessment, and for the challenging question, you need to identify the persuasive techniques used below in, the, um, in this ad. In your notebook, you're going to answer the following question. How can we use persuasive techniques in a speech? I can't wait to start this uh, fruitful week with you guys. Dima out.